Hello, I'm Tom Simon, and you're watching Off the Wall. Today's episode of Off the Wall is gonna, we're gonna talk about the Bigfoot steak, Sasquatch steak, and I'm talking about steak you eat. <laughs> but of course, we're not gonna eat a Bigfoot steak. But big story going on right now. Uh, a person named Justin Smeja was out hunting, and uh, he was hunting for whatever, right? But supposedly he killed two Bigfoots, okay, in the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges. And basically, he's claiming that after he killed the Bigfoots, he left, and then he came back two weeks later, dug them out of the snow, and cut a giant stake out of the, one of the Bigfoots. And he claims he has that stake, and he's trying to sell that stake for $10,000. Now, uh, some people, of course, are saying, well, there's no way in heck that you can kill a Bigfoot and then go back, uh, uh, you know, two weeks later and still dig the Bigfoot up and carve a stake out of it. That That's impossible. Um, now, on a radio show recently, they're claiming that DNA evidence of this Sasquatch stake claims that it is a real Bigfoot. A real Bigfoot. Of course, for us to find out if that's really true is almost nearly impossible, especially where now the government seems to be trying to cover this up. Because the Sierra Nevada Fish and Game Department are now claiming that a mother bear and a bear cub were found shot and killed in around the same area as Justin Smeja is claiming that he cut a Bigfoot stake out. So here comes the, you know, here comes the cover up, the men in black covering up the Bigfoot carcass kill. And now, Tom Biscardi, right, he's, Justin Smeja is trying to sell his Bigfoot stake for $10,000. Tom Biscardi, you might remember him from uh, him trying to make a purchase of the Bigfoot in the, in the cooler, right? And remember that picture where it ended up being an ape suit that was in the cooler? And, and you know, Tom Biscardi made claims and claims, that, oh, this is real, this is real. You know, put his reputation on the line. So for him to do it again and offer $50,000, because he says $10,000 is not enough for this Bigfoot stake, wow, he's got a lot of guts there to, to try and, you know, make this claim again, because his reputation to me was shot on the last the last uh, supposed Bigfoot in the freezer, right, where those two supposed ex-police officers went out and, you know, killed a Bigfoot. So, basically, that's the story. Um, there's, uh, you know, there's nothing really more to that. Well, there are, there's a little more to the story, actually. You can go and check it out. Let me give you a website if you want to check out more uh, information on this Bigfoot stake. Uh, you go to uh, Bigfoot Steak, so B I G F O O T S T E A K dot blogspot dot com slash dot 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 Erickson uh, dash um, Lindsay L I N D S A Y dash project dash more on or more dash on dash sierra html i'll read that one more time bigfoot steak dot blogspot dot com forward slash dot 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 erickson dash lindsay dash project dash more dash on dash sierra dot html now you can also get some some of the recent information about tom biscardi trying to purchase this fifty thousand dollar bigfoot sasquatch stake over at cryptomundo dot cryptomundo dot com i got that information from that website so who knows if it's real but if it is uh I sure hope we get to find out the truth because I'm really tired of the government trying to cover things up. I'm Tom Simon, and a Bigfoot stake is definitely off the wall. Have a good night.